Hey, what's up, Andrew from X? This is AJ from AndrewRoots.com. With me on the Galaxy Nexus GSM, of course, you can see right here. Um, right before we start this whole tutorial, I just want to head down to settings and show you that I'm running on 4.2, the official 100% pure, um, official 4.2 unrooted. So you can see the Android version baseband kernel. You can get the whole idea of this and right away you can just tell that it's running on 4.2 just by the lock screen because you got the camera app of course and you have other options as well so i'm going to be showing you how to install the 100 percent pure official straight from google servers 4.2 for your galaxy is gsm only gsm do not try this on ryzen or sprint it will not work it'll only work for gsm because that's the only one that's available currently from google and please be aware this will delete everything on your computer or on your phone i'm sorry on your phone so please do back it up it will remove all your apps music data all, all the um movies all that so back up all your pictures everything like that um just transfer to your computer to back it up or upload it to a dropbox or any other place to um to back it up so once you get all set we're gonna head down to our computer and let's get this whole process started and i just want to let you know before i do get started this is the mac version if you don't know the windows version you can check that video right there and right there as well and i will also have a one click on root method for mac as well so if you want to uh, have a lot much easier option and if this option doesn't work click on that um, mac one click on root method as well i'll have links below as well let's get this started Okay, so the first thing we need to do is enter our phone into bootloader mode. So it doesn't matter if your phone is rooted, unrooted, or you just want to install the stock 4.2. We're going to be powering off our phone. And now we're going to enter into bootloader, mo bootloader mode once it powers off. So give it a few seconds. Alright, it's powered, powered off. So press the volume up, volume down, and power button all at the same time. When you feel a vibration, let go of the power, but keep holding until the volume up and volume down. And I'll have written instructions for all of these in the link in the description below. So all three. Vibration let go power. You'll be on this screen, uh, just leave your phone alone. And now we're going to plug in our phone via micro USB. So just get your micro USB cord. I would recommend you use the original OEM uh, cord that came from Samsung. Uh, but you can try it on, um, you know, one that you got from Amazon or uh, using your, uh, from a different company. So just plug that inside, um, plug that side into your phone and the other side to your computer. Now let's head down to our computer. Okay, so my phone is still in bootloader mode and it's still plugged into my Mac computer. So as you can see, I have a folder right here. As always, I have a link below to download this. It'll be a zip file. Unzip that folder or zip, unzip that file and move this folder to your desktop. Make sure it's on your desktop, this folder. If you don't put it in your desktop, you're gonna run into problems. So make sure this folder right here, link in the description below. Uh, is on your desktop. So once you got that all set, you will see this folder. Just leave that alone. You have to open it or anything like that. Uh, just open up terminal and we're going to be typing in some commands now. So first command we're going to be typing in CD desktop. Enter. Now you're on your desktop. And now we're going to type in the folder name. So CD install dot unroot unroot dot galaxy nexus gsm dot 4.2 so just like that and as always I have a link uh, and the same link where you download this folder it's a written step-by-step -step guide so if you can't see the wording or anything like that you can just uh, definitely check that video out and we're gonna type enter okay now we're in that folder and now we're gonna be typing some commands so first command we're gonna be typing is dot slash fastboot space flash boot bootloader space boot and you can press tab and it'll automatically fill in the folder name for you or the file name for you and you can press enter and now it's going to be uh, installing the stack bootloader so remove um the original custom bootloader and install the stack bootloader that's complete you can say okay and okay now we're going to be flashing um now we're going to reboot the bootloader just to make it all nice and clean so dot slash fast boot reboot dash bootloader enter and now it's going to rebooting it's going to reboot the bootloader Okay, that's done. Now we're gonna do dot slash fast boot space flash radio space radio, and you can press tab and it'll automatically fill it in for you. Once again, press enter. Now it's gonna be uh, flashing the stock radio. So give it a few seconds. That's complete. Okay, now we're gonna reboot the bootloader once again. So dot slash fast boot reboot dash bootloader. Enter, and now it's gonna reboot the re bootloader once again. And the final thing we're going to be doing is uh, uh, flashing the whole basic whole system on your phone. 
So we're going to do dot slash fastboot space dash w space updates space image. And you press tab and it will make the fill the folder in. Now it's going to be flash. Or it's, now it's going to be flashing the um, stock image. So it'll say some errors in the beginning. But don't worry about that as long as this is all goes good. Okay. So you have all okay. 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 So as long as you have that you'll be fine. And now it's going to take about a couple minutes maybe two minutes to flash the whole stock and once this finishes um we're gonna reboot our phone and it'll be done so i'll be back when this is done um flashing all the system uh files okay so as you can see at the bottom right here just finished it says rebooting and now your phone is rebooting so let me just zoom this out and your phone will be now be rebooting uh probably around twice and it's gonna reboot onto your stock on um, 4.2 recovery for your galaxy nexus gsm so let's wait till this boots up. It'll take about two minutes to boot up just because you installed the stock 4.2 on your Galaxy Nexus GSM. So I'll be back when it's done booting up. So as you can see, it's going to boot up twice. So I'll be back when it's done. Okay, so it took about two minutes. Now it's complete as you can see um, on my setup screen. Now you can set up your whole phone now and get started if you're planning on rooting your phone and installing Clock on My Recovery or doing anything like that. But if you're planning on sending it back to Google, so you're going to send it back to Google maybe because you rooted it earlier and installed Clock on My Recovery and all that. You want to get 100% pure stock. We're going to have to do one more thing and that is to lock the bootloader. So we're going to have to lock the bootloader on a Galaxy Nexus GSM. So let's do that right now. So we're going to have to enter into the bootloader mode one more time. So unplug your phone. Make sure it's unplugged. And only do this if you're going to be sending it back to Google or Samsung. So power off your phone one more time and we're going to bootloader mode. So give it a few seconds to turn off. Okay, once it's turned off, same process, press the volume up, volume down, and power button all at the same time. When you feel a vibration, let go of the power. All three. Vibration, let go of power. Okay, you'll be on the screen. And uh, hopefully the camera can pick it up. But as you can see right there, it says red and unlocked right there. So we're going to have to lock that um, bootloader up so it's all locked up so they don't even know that you ever messed with your phone. So plug in your phone once again to your computer. So it's plugged in and it says unlocked right there, you just saw it. And we're going to be typing in one last command on our uh, computer. So let me zoom in so you can get a better look at that. Alright, so now we're going to type in dot slash fastboot OEM lock. So that's going to lock your bootloader. Press enter, OK. And now, like magic, give it a few seconds. Let me zoom out, it works better when I'm zoomed out. But as you can see right there, um, it says... It says locked right there. Okay, there you go. Now, as you can see, it's in white lettering, and now it says locked. So, your bootloader is locked up. Just press the power button to uh, reboot your phone. And now, you can set up your phone on the pure stock official, unrooted Galaxy Nexus GSM i9-250 4.2 Jelly Bean, the latest and greatest one. For, uh, GSM Gal um, Galaxy Nexus GSM on a Mac computer. Um, very easy to do, like I said earlier. Um, super simple to do. So we'll actually wait till this boots up so you do know um, about that whole thing. But if you think this is too confusing or you just want to try an easier, simpler method, definitely check out my one unroot toolkit right there. So just click on that. Um, it's one enter and it'll unroot it automatically. No commands, nothing and very easy to do. But if you do get problems on that uh, command prompt, then definitely watch this video to um, probably fix your problem. So I'm just going to cancel and skip through all this. So I'll be right back when this is done and we'll go into settings. Okay, so I finished setting it up. Let's go into settings real quick and show you I'm on 4.2 like I showed you earlier in the video. So let's go into the bud phone. And there you have it. You're on 4.2 jelly bean. And when you press it, you get a little jelly bean. And then hold it down and you get these little jelly beans to play with on your Galaxy Nexus GSM 4.2. Um, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as it does help me out a lot. And you'll be notified when I uh, do RAM reviews. Um, and I do other devices as well, Galaxy S3, LG Nexus 4 coming very soon, and a, a lot of other devices as well. And, and if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful and it worked for you, don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up as well. Thanks for watching guys, I will see you next time. And if you need help on this or anything else, uh, definitely check my website, andrewroots.com, and contact me through via um, Twitter, Facebook, Google, and Google+, and email me. All links will be in the description below. I will see you next time. Yep. Yeah.